guys how's going on my name is Luis and god bless every single one of you today is december 5th 2023 and welcome to the grand spain news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and it says here britain should stock up on torches and candles in case of power cuts this is coming out from Dowden. Now it says here, give me a second. Let me just read this part really quick. If you can, please share this video. Uh, people should stock up on battery power radios and torches as well as candles and first aid kits in order to prepare for power cuts or digital communication going down. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, some loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters, a prayer request, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Guys, I post some videos today, so make sure you check out the links. All the information will be in the comments box. Uh, you guys already know the leader of Crane, the yellow blue country, Zelensky, is supposed to come here to the Sleeping Giant, but at the very last minute, it was canceled. That is the reason why. It's because the bear is winning, and for him to do that is gonna put uh, it's gonna put the yellow blue country in a really tough spot. So the bear is winning. Actually, the bear is much more stronger than before. Thank you, Mr. Burns, for building up the bear economy, military power. They are building drones left and right. Thank you so much, Mr. Byrne. You done it again. You done it again. So all the information will be in the comments box if you guys want to check it out. Uh, the bear is much more powerful. This is coming out from experts. Even some sleeping giant uh, media are talking about this. It's like sources, excuse me. Uh, but uh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good for the sleeping giants. So the sleeping giant got weaker. The bear got stronger. In other words, Mr. Byrne is a failure. Uh, again, I'm not trying to be mean here, but man, he succeeded zero. But don't worry, uh, they're going to throw uh, Mr. Z under the bus and they're going to blame him for it. All right, so once again, people should stock up on battery power radios and torches, as well as candles and first aid kits in order to prepare for power cuts or digital communication going down. Why do you need a first aid kit? You don't need a first aid kit if the power goes off. Unless, unless it's a reason why power goes off, maybe some kind of uh, incoming NUKE or possibly something else. All right, so let's see what's going on here, guys. So according to the Times, Oliver described the supplies as analog capabilities that it makes sense to retain in a digital age during a visit to porting down uh, the UK military laboratory. All right. So it says here, Dowden uh, made the visit to coincide with his first annual risk and resilience statement, which he had promised to give last year when launching the Gov UK resilience framework. As part of the statement, he announced the launch of a national resilience academy to help people and businesses prepare for future world events. Here we go. This is one of them right here. And you have the natural disaster and cyber event, which by the way, guys, I just post a video about the UK facility. Oh, actually, I think it's going to be after this one here. So you have UK, uh, one of the um the most toxic nuclear facility in europe is leaking that's the same facility um that got hit by hackers a couple of days ago now it's leaking and underground water could be impacted 
this is the most uh, toxic facility in the world. <laughs> I mean, uh, in Europe. But uh, again, they call it the bottomless pit of hell for a reason. I mean, this thing is like brutal. Just imagine it's like zombie movies apocalypse. That thing is going to be mixed with water. Uh, according to expert, they sounded the alarm on this one. So that video is going to come up soon. So the deputy prime minister announced that the plans in the House of Commons claiming the academy would help uh, the whole of society prepare for the risk. Downing uh, listed the bear. There we go. Invasion of the yellow blue country. Cyber world events of 2020. The misuse of artificial AI? And AI. Uh, there's some serious stuff there, guys. You know, I've been posting video about it. Extreme weather, among others. Excuse me. Among some of the risk the UK faces. He said uh, businesses would be offered training to deal with the impact of such events. But a new, while a new uh, website will provide the public with practical advice on how to be better prepared for future risk. Man, we got none of this type of stuff. We have no bunker. We have none of this type of preparation. We got nothing. All we get is everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be okay. All right, so he told the comments, which, by the way, we don't need none of those stuff because we have Jesus. All right, we put on the whole armor of God. If, if thing comes, it comes. WW3 comes, you can't stop it. It's, you know, all this stuff must happen. You cannot just hide and run away. And again, if uh, people want to run, run towards Jesus, for he is the only way. He told the comments, the Gov has a role in bringing all actors together and to give them the skills they need. Now, today I can announce we are developing a new UK Resilience Academy that will improve the skills of those groups. It will provide a range of learning and training opportunities for the whole of society for, uh, for professionals there will be a curriculum to build skills and, and knowledge and networks in a center for excellence for exercising. Now, for businesses, there will be greater guidance and particularly uh, assistance on threats to critical national infrastructures and cyber. And for citizens, there will be a unified Gov Resilience website, which will provide practical advice on how households can prepare as part of a campaign to raise awareness of the simple steps individuals can take to raise their resilience. I just feel like this is more than just weather events. I feel like this is like WW3 preparation or incoming asteroid. Uh, because again, look, guys, weather has been going on since the you know the creation, the very beginning, and now all of a sudden, you, you again, you're telling people to get the first aid kit. I mean, I just feel like it's more to it. Downen uh, also said that the gov would develop a volunteer hub aimed at helping authorities draw on a single pool of volunteers who want to help a future event similar to the 2020 event, which he said demonstrated the overwhelming community spirit. Now, the Labor Front Ventures, Pat McFadden, welcomed the measures, but asked what the Gov was doing to boost the resilience in energy supplies and the public estate, as well as in the elects. He said, why is the Gov new policy is to roll back on the transition mandating by its own legislation for net zero and prolong a reliance on international fossil fuel markets. For these failures, the British public has paid a heavy price. And how will the Gov increase resilience in the public estate? Now, once again, school capitals and budgets cut back under this prime minister watch while he was counselor. School roofs falling in, disrupting young one's education. He also pressed minister to implement recommendation of parliament intelligence and security committee aimed at preventing the bear 
in other states for interfering with upcoming elects. You know, for some reason, guys, it's no. It, I just don't believe the bear interfere in elects. I'm sorry. I don't think the bear, the bear, the bear. I don't think the bear interfere in nation elects. I just don't see that happening. The more people talk about it, I just feel like it's just baloney, phony stuff. I think it's happening within. You got those within interfering elects, and it's happening. You see the four or five? Yeah, that's a uh, interference of elects. All right, so McFadden said, with an elects coming uh, sometime in the next year, I am sure the Secretary of State would agree that we need to do all we can to ensure it is conducted in a free and fair manner. And the Deputy Prime Minister reminded the Commons that an elects could be held in January 2025, at least at the latest. Downing said, indeed, it is not just in this nation, in many nations around the world next year, or indeed in this nation, it could be the year after. Elects will happen. This is why we have instructed the Democ Tax Force to make sure we are fully resilient. All right, so that's what's going on right now, guys. Get your candles. Britons should stock up on torches and candles in case of power cuts. But throughout the entire article, it just spoke about other things. So, again, I guess he's basically saying Greg could get impacted with all these world events. So prepare yourself, uh, Britons. But it's not only Britons, it's also here in the Sleeping Giant. You guys already know what time it is. Next, again, in basically next couple of weeks is going to be 2024. That, ladies and gentlemen, will be the big test. All right, there's going to be a lot of surprises to come. And many of us are excited. So don't have anxiety. Fill your mind and heart with the word of God. And uh, just, you know, seek for, for Christ's kingdom. And uh, just uh, put on the whole armor. Fill your mind with scriptures. That's the only way. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I got some more videos coming up. For those of you that want to give your life to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters, a prayer request, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.